Penny and Dorothy and our Governor Jim Douglas. And uh, now it's my privilege to introduce our Governor, James H. Douglas. Brian, thank you. It's great for uh, Dorothy and me to be here with Penny and Brian. We had a great uh, event this morning in Williston. Big crowds there up in Chittenden County. We're going to keep going all across Vermont. Uh, throughout the course of the weekend. Thanks for coming out this afternoon in Barrie. It's uh, great to see uh, legislators, past, present, and future, along with other leaders of the community in central Vermont. This is a very important time in our state's history. We've had some real challenges over the past eight years, but working together, we've confronted them and made some real progress. Brian and I just uh, participated with Dorothy and Penny in the annual Alzheimer's Walk. and. Uh, I said to the group there that we're the healthiest state in America, according to the United Health Foundation, for two years in a row. And we should be proud of that because of the commitment we have to keeping the people of our communities fit and healthy. We also are a AAA rated state. We're fiscally strong compared to other states around uh, the United States because of the great leadership we've had uh, in uh, Brian and Tom Salmon, our auditor, and our team in the finance department as well. We have a lot to be proud of, but I'm very concerned about where we go from here. I'm very concerned that if we had a, a liberal legislature working with the Chumlin administration, we would have more spending, more taxes, and we wouldn't be able to maintain the competitive success that we've had in Vermont over the last eight years. This is a time when we have to choose a chief executive who gets it, who has the experience, the maturity, the leadership capacity necessary to lead Vermont into the next uh, decade of our state's history. And the choice couldn't be clearer. I've worked with both of these fellows for quite a while over the past few years. I know them both very well indeed. We have a leader on the opposition who uh, just about say anything to get elected. He uh, talked about uh, spending money on just about everything. He says we're going to put a laptop in, uh, in every uh, student's hand. We're going to have universal pre-K. We're going to have state-run and paid-for health care for everybody. We're going to hire more public workers. Well, that doesn't happen without reaching into the pockets of the taxpayers of Vermont and paying for it. And we can't afford to raise the taxes of our people. Remember what happened last year? leadership, they raised more than $20 million worth of taxes on Vermonters. And we got them to roll some of them back this year because they were hearing from enough people about how devastating that was to our state's economic future. But we can't have a governor whose first instinct is to raise taxes and impair the economic success of the people of Vermont. So Brian Doobie gets it. He understands what we need to create more jobs. He's been an ambassador for Vermont going all across the planet to encourage, to encourage investment in our future, uh, to uh, encourage the creation of job opportunities for the people of our state. He's led the, the Governor's Commission on Healthy Aging. He's led the Governor's Commission on Homeland Security. He has the broad perspective at the state, national, and local level to be our next governor. So I'm pleased to be here with all of you today, but I want to ask you not just to uh, uh, support Brian as you're already doing, but to encourage all your friends and relatives and neighbors to do the same. This is going to be a, a close, hard-fought election. Uh, we need to make sure Brian's message gets out there, because the more people who know Brian Doobie, the more votes he's going to get. So thank you for being here, and without further ado, Let's have a great, warm Central Vermont welcome for our next governor, Brian Newby. <laughs> 